Greetings, Earthlings. What you see here is a Heathkit IB1103 frequency counter. And the thing that makes this cool is that it has, it uses Nixie tubes. And everybody ought to have some piece of equipment that uses Nixie tubes. I'm sorry it can't be a, a multimeter, but uh, this is what we'll uh, this is what we'll have to make do with for now. Driving, I'm going to drive it here with a uh, Rigol DG822 uh, signal generator that thinks it's a DG992 somehow. Currently have it set. Well, I want to set it to 100 kilohertz. Just okay. I said I want to set it to 100 kilohertz. Uh, Sine wave, 700 millivolts peak to peak output. We'll power this on and see what it does. I should set the output so we don't get random numbers. Okay, wait a minute. That's not interesting. Let's see if I can get, okay. You got that? Yeah. So let's see, I have uh, three time bases here. Gate, this is the gate. Um, one millisecond, 100 milliseconds, or one second. And there's a multiplier times one times 10 times 100 times 1,000. So at 100 milliseconds and times 10, I'm seeing 100.00 blip kilohertz which is pretty good. I should be able to go to uh, times 100, and I get an extra digit out here. Times 1,000, will that work? Whoops. It says unlock. So um, that may be outside of its uh, capabilities. Yes, it can only go uh, on times 1,000 up to 10 kilohertz. So, But it is spec to go to... 100 kilohertz on times 100, so there you go. So that sort of seems to be working. Um, let's see, what if I go down here? Okay, there's a problem. That's 100.0 kilohertz, but the decimal point is missing. Uh, that's uncool, man. That's uncool. See, there's... Uh-oh. Well, now, they, okay, so now it's 0 0.100 megahertz, and the megahertz light is not lighting up. So there's hertz, kilohertz, and megahertz lights over here. Over here, there's three lights as well. Uh... I forget what, I forget, unlock, okay, uh, there's a gate, which will only show up, I think, on one second, well, maybe it was showing up on 100 milliseconds, yeah, gate, and uh, then this is, uh, I think, range or something, if, you, if you're outside the, uh, outside of its current, current range, so actually, I would think that would be lit up right now, too, so that may be burned out, okay. So where were we? Uh, we were on one millisecond, okay. And point one, point one, point one, point, and there's another missing decimal point. So we've got two missing decimal points, a couple of burned out light bulbs, but otherwise it seems to be pretty much working. Um, let's crank it up. You know what I can do? I can go to 100 megahertz. <laughs> um, oh, did I do it on it? One second. Well, wait, let's go back to 100 kilohertz. I don't know if I did one, one second. Okay. 100.00. Yeah, I, oh, I think I did. 100 point, there's the missing, the other missing uh, decimal point. So I can get, I can get a whole bunch of, well, what is that, a third missing decimal point? Oh no, this is on Hertz now, I'm sorry, this is on Hertz, so it's a direct readout, 100, 0, 0, 0, wait, 
one zero 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 that doesn't seem right there's a decimal point one hundred thousand Hertz okay this one one hundred zero 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 dot okay so that's missing um, time base could possibly use some adjustment this has a uh, temperature controlled crystal oscillator in it and it's adjustable somewhat and I don't know when it was last checked or adjusted it seems pretty close um, yeah anyway 100 megahertz this can go up to 180 megahertz by the way okay we're, we're out of range unlock and and I would think range would be on let's see that's a that that should give it okay <laughs> 100 zero 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 x x x um, that's just a neon bolt. That's just an NE2 there for that for that high one. But direct readout of 100 megahertz. That's pretty impressive. Um, I'm going to go down. It's on kilohertz. Again, we're missing, uh, we're missing that decimal point. Uh, one, I did one second. Okay, one millisecond, 100, yeah. Megahertz, the light is not right. Okay. Let's go now down to 100 hertz. Wait, 100 hertz. 100 hertz. And, uh, well, that's not a meaningful thing. One millisecond. I don't even think 100 milliseconds is meaningful at 100 hertz. I should get maybe one count. But on one second, I should see 100 or thereabouts. I said... Well, this seems to be pro Oh, this is millihertz. Wait, what did I do? Oh my. There's a <laughs> there's a hundred hertz. Okay. One hundred. Okay, there we go. Um times ten. Okay, that's not right. Times a hundred. That's not right. That was a thousand. That's not right. Okay. So at low frequencies, it looks like the uh, multiplier isn't working right. It seemed okay at, at uh, higher frequencies at 100 uh, kilohertz. I got some burned out bulbs and uh, needs a... Uh, I want two two decimal points that aren't lighting, and and then needs a tweak on the uh, on the oscillator. So let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. All right, and there it is. Um, has some boards plugged in over here. It has some boards here. It looks like the integrated circuits are socketed. Well, they're not proper sockets, but they are um, they are connectors. There's some old electrolytic capacitors. This one looks maybe newer. So that one may have been replaced. These look original. There's foo foo dust. These presumably plug in. There's what it looks like underneath. Um, not sure what that board is. Oh, that's the switches. Not sure how that board's mounted. And you can kind of see the connectors here. Um, that uh, that hold 
these vertical boards in place. There's the voltage regulators back on the back here. <laughs> that one is seriously dented right there. Uh, there's a 309. I thought it had two 309Ks. Okay, LM309K. That should also, I think, be a 309. It's got a different part number on it. So, what I see here, this is the oscillator board, and this is the this is the oscillator. This is the input board, I believe, because it's got a uh, it's got a cable coming from the front panel and uh, plugging in here RCA connectors. That would make this the frequency multiplier board, I guess. Power supply board's there, and this is the display driver. And the bulbs are right there. The little tiny sort of grain of wheat things. Um, I may just want to put LEDs in there. Should be easy enough to do. Continuity tester. Nope, nothing there. That's the megahertz light, I think. Wait, I should be, I should actually measure resistance. Still, it reads open. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's the burned out uh, megahertz light. I want to check the middle one over here. Which goes from there to there. Well, that says it's alive. Okay. Well, maybe there's some other problem in the driver for that, or maybe it wasn't supposed to be on at all. What's next? Checking five volts, I suppose, or the, the voltages. Power supply voltages. <laughs> Little high on the plus five there. Whoa. Uh, there's another plus five. The thing about this is it has, uh, in addition to regular TTL logic, it has ECL logic. So it's got some weird voltages in it. Let's see. 8.68. Oh, okay. 4.94 on that one. Yeah, 6.0. The 4.94, 4 the first one I measured there, is uh, the one that's the LM309. The one that's not the LM309 is the one that's measuring high. Okay, so I don't want to run this for too long if... Uh, if the power supply is, is whacked, I'll have to get a replacement for that. That's the dented one, too. That's enough for now. We'll look, uh, I'll dig into it and uh, report back. <laughs>